Determined to make a local response to viral hemorrhagic fevers, Ugandan scientist and researcher Dr. Misach Waiyengera has delivered timely news. Him and a team of researchers at the Makere College of Health Science Laboratories are working on a tool which can rapidly diagnose Ebola and Marburg. It takes two minutes for the f for concretely the actually two minutes are probably long. It's one minute. Do I have to be a doctor? You don't have to be a doctor. Mm -hmm. you, for instance, you probably have seen it heard about a pregnancy test. I'm not sure whether you've used one. A pregnancy test is something you walk into a pharmacy buy and you just go and you use it yourself. You're given guidance on how to use it. The paper-like tool called a paper strip has been in offing for the past 13 years. Of course the biggest challenge is sometimes the, the, the lack of faith in, in, in ourselves as Ugandans that we can, do, we can do some of these things. Local funding was not forthcoming, but now with funding from the Canadian government, under the grant challenges Canada, the scientists are busier than bees. Next few months is literally the real experimental testing in the lab, which we are going to run until about March, May. Even though the country has a national task force and a laboratory at UVRI to detect and control the spread of the viruses, it is still limited by time. Currently, testing involves taking samples from the point of infection, the lab in Entebbe, taking up to 48 hours to get results. The Minister of Health welcomes the minute test, though it prefers that it's mainly used for screening. To tell us that there is something we need to do, uh, more of investigation, but this can hit a pass to put our guards on alert so they will protect our health workers and the community. Although this is good news to Uganda's health sector and the region as a whole, Dr. Makumbi says hemorrhagic viruses are here to stay. We are near what they call a hot spot, uh, where there is a pool of new and old viruses multiplying at terrific speed. One of the other things is that the climate change is facilitating that such a multiplication. The other issue of our vulnerability is that we are in a, what we call yellow fever belt of Africa and also in the same belt, Meningitis belt. He says the country is not managing well the environment, especially by invading the ecosystem where these viruses stay. What, anyway, what mostly can we do, even if we are vulnerable, really? Prepare ourselves for these eventualities so that when a disease comes, we are, can easily detect it very early and respond very early. Well, Dr. Misaki and his team have offered a solution and leave it up to the Minister of Health and other players like CDC and UVRI to take it up. Why should you buy for yourself a kit to test for Ebola? Government should be able to procure it so that the Minister of Health can have them in the health centers in different settings. The scientists have a platform for manufacturing the kits, though they do not have a research and development facility. It is unfortunate that there is little investment in our country, which is a developing country, in these future determinants of the global economy. For now, there is just supportive therapy for the sufferers of Ebola and Marburg, but scientists are still searching for treatment and vaccines. Meanwhile, the Ugandan scientists have a lot up their sleeves. Part of our work has been on a mode of enzymes that are found in bacteria that fight off viruses, and we are developing these as potential therapeutics. And part of our work is on developing an HIV cure is in advanced stages. That was probably a slip up which he did expand on further, but he professes that Ugandans and the world should be on the lookout. Floresta Limba, NTV. But we have amazing things.